Apple's recently released iPhone 16 has some people reporting frustrating touch screen issues. On Sunday, Reddit users took to the platform to discuss their experiences with various dead spots on the new iPhone 16 touch screen. Some comments suggested the area around the camera control button was exceptionally prone to problems. These issues prevent swipes from occurring in iOS settings and also affect certain unspecified apps. Apple has yet to release an official response. Touchscreen issues plague iPhone 16 users the phenomenon was first replicated and reported by 9to5Mac. The problems have triggered a slew of online complaints that some users are calling Touchgate. While issues were initially thought to be limited to the iPhone 16, some are claiming older iPhone models may be impacted. On the other hand, not everyone is experiencing touchscreen woes. With its release, the iPhone 16 promised some exciting new features. But this development means you shouldn't be surprised if you experience some disappointing behavior from yours. More disappointing is that these reports come at the tail end of what some media outlets are calling a lackluster iPhone 16 release. Personally, I consider that a double whammy for Apple, especially since the company's updated products are frequently met with cult-like praise. The cause of issues is still uncertain Mastodon user Kaos Tian managed to capture and post a video of the reported problems. They attribute the behavior to palm rejection, however, the accuracy of their statements is unclear. Additionally, the site McCrumers suggests that the behavior may be related to the iPhone 16e's thinner bezel design. Others are blaming iOS 18. Only one thing is certain at this point, we'll know more as this story develops. Expect Apple to respond soon unfortunately, it's not uncommon for new products and software to experience bugs. Last October, upon the release of iOS 17, folks began reporting several issues with Wi-Fi connectivity on Apple's official website. Apple pushed a software update to combat those issues shortly after the reports began rolling in. Expect the company to respond similarly once it determines the cause of the problems. Until then, however, you may want to hold off on buying that new iPhone 16 just to save yourself a little unnecessary frustration.